Calvin Castine at George Brandler Field. It's the third day of September 2021, and we're here for the championship game of the now called Jan Davis Memorial Tournament. It's the Shazy Eagle Girls against the Plattsburgh High School Girls, and they were both winners last night. We're going to have uh, Joey Trombley and Lee Barcombe carrying us through the game from radio station WIRI Hometown Radio here on Hometown Cable. Joey Trombley along with Lee Barcombe, and we're getting ready to start this game. And Lee, let's talk about the officials for tonight's game. Uh, officials for tonight in the middle of the field as the lead referee is Steve Regan and on the sidelines are Kylie Regan and Derek Baudet. And the Plattsburgh High girls have run out onto the field. They will be going from left to right. The Shazy girls in their all green uniforms will be going from right to left. And we're getting set for this game to start. The Shazy girls are getting into their position. The Plattsburgh High girls are in a little huddle talking a little bit of strategy before they line up. Officials are in place, and this game is about ready to start. And Plattsburgh will take the uh, the kickoff to start this game. And the Shazy girls go into a little huddle. Now they run out into their positions, and the championship game is about to start at the George Bremer Field. Waiting for the official, Reagan. And we have started. The ball is pushed back. It's on to the feet of Abelard. Abelard comes to the near side, finds Neal. Lexi Neal with the ball at midfield, pushes it to the center, onto the feet of Berto. Berto has space, comes back to Neal. Neal goes back to the defensive end to the feet of Hemingway. Hemingway finds Boole. Goulet. Goulet has it taken away by McAuliffe. McAuliffe trying to work her way down. McAuliffe trying to split the defense. Nice speed by McAuliffe. She's inside the box. Gets a shot off. Hits the post! And it bounces off to the 18 with a shot. And it is a... Uh, McChesney rips a shot. It goes off the defense. And boy, Shay Z came back on a quick run by McAuliffe and hit the post lead. It didn't take long for Ava McAuliffe to exert uh, her dominance, at least on the Shay Z squad. She stole that ball away, streaked, streaked down the right-hand side into the box, beat her defender and rifled a shot near near post, off the post, diving Emma Whalen, wasn't able to get a hand on it. Um, so yes, a great opportunity right off the bat for the Eagles. Well, the post was a good friend to Emma Whalen on that play, and the ball is back into play into the defensive zone of Shea Z. It's the Hornets, it looks like Ledoux, pushes the ball up, trying to find the feet of Berto. Berto gets through the defense. She gets a shot off, and it's a save. A rip of a shot and a save by Gagno and Lee. We have been a minute 15 in and two grade A shots by both teams. And to end action here, and uh, Sophie Berto, uh, one of the cap senior captains for the Hornets, uh, received the ball in top of the 18. She beat her defender and was in alone on Gagno, and she fired a hello hard shot that Sam Gagno was able to corral. So the ball is out of bounds right now on the far side. Shay Z with the throw, and they're about halfway into their defensive zone. Ball comes into play. Ball is hit forward by the Hornets onto the feet of Bailey Houston. Houston turns, pushes it forward, trying to find Orson. Corson turns with some nice speed, trying to get a shot off. She's defended well by Lucas. Lucas and Corson. Corson pushes her down with an elbow. So a nice job by Lucas guarding Corson. Yeah, um, the Shazy uh, defense is going to have to make some adjustments early on because the speed and the skill of the Hornets are going to really give them fits. Um, so yeah, Corson had a good opportunity there, but uh, Hadley Lucas defended her well, and here's another good short opportunity. Short kick, short kick by Lucas. Here comes number 10, uh, Houston. She has it taken away from behind defensively by number 10 for Shazy, which is uh, Abby Huckrow does a nice job defensively. Huckrow battling Houston on the sideline. Houston now turns, gets a shot across the line, and Gagno's there, but coming on strong was uh, Sophie Berto. Yeah, that was um, some, so there's a, some obviously adjustments for Shazy on the defensive side, and they're just having some growing pains right now. Uh, sweeping is Hadley Lucas, but stopping tonight is Lexi Clark. Last, last game she played central midfield, so she's in a new position for her. And uh, as Sam Gagne, who was stopper last game, is in the goal. So the ball goes out of bounds on the far side, throwing for the Hornets. Ball comes into play. 
into the open space and trying to send the ball into the box goes to number 10. Coming off the line is Gagno. Coming on strong was Bailey Houston and Lee, I wasn't expecting this type of action so early in the game. Yeah, it's right now it's all Hornets. They've pinned the Eagles into the zone. A nice punt there by Gagno gets it across midfield, but um, they've pinned Shazy in. Now McAuliffe is working her magic on the far side. McAuliffe working her way down. She's deep into PHS uh, territory. Sends the ball up, finds the feet of Puckrow. Puckrow trying to turn and get a shot off, but she's defended well. Puckrow has it knocked away. It goes on to the feet of Abelard. Abelard turns up the open spot, picked up from Shazy's Lexi Clark. Clark rips a shot. It goes off of the defense of the Hornets, throwing for Shazy far sideline. So Eagles are starting to fight back a little bit. So as we were saying, the midfield changes um, for the Eagles as Jenna Collins moves into the midfield um, for them. They've got a couple, the new starter, a new player out there. Caitlin Harvey's a freshman, um, her first varsity year. She's playing outside midfield for the Eagles, and they've earned themselves a corner kick. Yeah, Audrey Langlois uh, threw the ball into uh, McAuliffe. McAuliffe took it off the defense, off the end line. So first corner kick, it will be McAuliffe. Far side, they're going from right to left. It's the far corner. Ava McAuliffe with the first corner kick of the game. It's a low kick. It deflects off a defender of PHS. It's cleared out to the uh, middle of the field off the head of um, Amelia Smith. And now it's picked up by the speed of the Hornets. They're into Shazy territory, but going back to help out defensively as Audrey Langlois does a nice job. Takes it off the sideline, and it'll be a throw in for Plattsburgh, and the fan base for the Hornets are into this game. This is something we didn't obviously have last year. As you come to a game here at George Brendler Field, you might have a, literally a dozen people here watching the game because it's only friends, or excuse me, only family of the players. Uh, we got the entire boys varsity Plattsburgh team and the entire Shazy varsity team over there. So uh, some rowdiness in the crowd, and that makes for a fun game. Well, Avalar just ripped a shot from distance that went into the hands of Gagno, and she quickly punched the ball back toward midfield. They let it go off the sideline, near side there, and right below us at the press box. Ball comes into play, and it goes on to the feet of Boulay. Boulay makes a nice turn, gets around uh, Collins, and it's still Boulay with the ball, switches fields, and she gets it on to the feet of Haley Ledoux. Ledoux working her way down. She's being guarded by Langlois. Ledoux makes the move. Langlois stays with her. It's Ledoux, turns left footed, gets the shot off, and it is the goalie, Sam Gagno. And Sam Gagno is very athletic, and I think she's the right person tonight in that spot. Yeah, she, she played a lot of games last year for the Eagles in goal. Um, and uh, she comes by her athletic roots, honestly, as her mom, Sarah Gagno, is one of the the all-time greats for Shay Z. Absolutely, and you're talking about the years of the Carol Latchamore as well. I think uh, yeah. Sarah was in that year. Yeah, early early to mid '80s, definitely. Shay Z will get a direct kick. They are about in their own defensive zone. It'll be Lucas taking the kick for Shay Z right at the middle of the field, about 10 yards into their own zone, and the shot goes forward, lands on the ground, gets through everybody. Coming off the line is for um, Whalen for Plasper. She punts the ball, it's a short punt. It goes over the head of Avalar to the midfield, open space. Hustling is Berto. Berto picks up the ball. Berto working away, gets a through ball, far side. Coming off her line is Gagno. There's a shot by the Hornets. They score! And what a play by Haley Ledoux. Gone, no goal, they call it off. Uh, and offsides? Offsides, yes. Offsides, wow. Haley Ledoux made a beautiful finish, but she was a step in front of the defense. Yep, yeah, she, she was a step in front of Amelia Smith. It was a nice nice ball fed through by Birdo to Ledoux, and she placed the ball nicely past Gagno, but official had the flag up for offsides. So offside, the score, there is no score. Game is tied in this championship game. Ball at midfield. McAuliffe battling for the ball. McAuliffe now turns to the inside. She sends the ball down to the far sideline. It deflects off a defensive player back to McAuliffe. McAuliffe now keeps it simple. Gets it on the feast of the Smith. Smith trying to find McChesney. Back to Smith. Gives it up to uh, Collins. Collins now goes to McAuliffe. McAuliffe steps back. McAuliffe now trying to send it forward. It goes off of Avalard. And it goes off of also Corson. And battling for Shay Z is Harvey. Caitlin Harvey turns, battling 18, uh, 19, 
Corson right here in front of us. She keeps the ball in play. She tries to push it up to Houston, uh, Bailey Houston, but it goes off the sideline, throwing for Shay Z. And it's Harvey. Caitlin Harvey gets the ball into McChesney. McChesney turns, gets it onto the feet of Huckle. Huckle turns, but has it taken away by Abelard. Abelard makes a nice move. She's at midfield, left footed, gets the ball up over to Ledoux. Ledoux working her way toward the 18, defended well by Smith. Smith pushes it over to Lucas. Lucas to the outside, and she gets it on the feet of number eight for Shazie is Lane Boys. Lane Boys has it knocked out of bounds. She takes a throw in quickly to McCullough. McCullough turns, spins with the ball, still controlling, goes to the open space, now sends the ball forward. She's trying to find McChesney. McChesney running for the ball, but back there defensively with good speed is Lexi Neal. Neal takes the ball and she knocks it out of bounds, so throwing for Shazie halfway into the PHS territory, and it's going to be Caitlin Harvey with the throw in for Shazie. She gets the ball in, she's trying to find Huckrow. Huckrow being guarded by Abelard. Ball goes to the open space. It's picked up by uh, Bellrose. Bellrose with the ball for Shazy. Switches fields, goes to the far side. Trying to find Lane Boys, but it's knocked away to Ledoux. Ledoux now sends it up, but hustling back for Shazy as a defense, but taken away by Houston. Houston now gets by the defense, gives it up to number 15, Bordo. Coming up the line is Gagno. Bordo goes flying over Gagno. And the official blows the whistle, so there may be a yellow card there, or maybe just a conversation. I think he's gonna he's gonna issue a warning to uh, to the Plattsburgh player. Was I think it was Haley? Was it Berto or Ledoux? Berto. Um, she definitely had opportunity to to avoid contact with the keeper, but she chose to take that contact, and so the referee is telling her that it can't happen again. And a nice punt uh, from uh, Gagno at midfield. There's a whistle on Shay Z. So it'll be a direct kick right at midfield for the Hornets. And coming up for the uh, Hornets is Alyssa Hemingway, the junior. She'll take the kick for Plattsburgh. <coughs> direct kick. This is the sweeper for the Hornets, Alyssa Hemingway. And the kick goes forward. And it's tr trying to be cleared out by Clark. Clark loses it to Abelard. Abelard pushes it over, gets it onto the feet of Lexi Neal. Neal goes back to the center trying to find Houston. There is a hard shot by Bordo, and Gagno is stepping up for the task tonight in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, Sam Gagno has um, faced, I would say, probably eight or nine shots already. Well, it's uh, five on the board. It's five on the board, but she's made several uh, saves. A lot of them have been right to her, but she has made a couple aggressive saves where she's come out to capture the ball. Ball is going to go out of bounds halfway into the defensive zone of Shazy. Shazy will get the throw in. They're going from right to left, right here in front of the press box. The ball goes into McChesney. McChesney has it knocked away, and it's knocked forward by Corson of Plattsburgh. Stepping up for Shazy is Lucas. Lucas pushes the ball back. Gets it on to the feet of Bellrose. Bellrose turns. Nice job. Sends it forward. It goes on to the feet of Abelard. Abelard one times to Houston. She comes to the near side over to Berto. Bordo working her way down, Lucas going over to defend. It's Lucas and Bordo, and it goes off of Bordo, so a goal kick coming up for Shazy. Um, so disorganization back on the Shazy defensive line, and that's to be expected. You have young players on the outside um, that aren't used to, to defending. Uh, Caitlin Harvey, a freshman, and, and Amelia Smith. Um, and then it looks like Georgia Bellrose has been moved into the stopper position at this point, Lexi Clark back to midfield. So it's a little bit of disorganization there. Eagles will get it down. It's going to take a little time. And it was uh, Aubrey Mulligan, the eighth grader, has checked into the game. Ball goes on to the feet of Bordo. Bordo will get the shot off. She does, Ooh. and that goes over the net. But Plattsburgh is having their way with the shot. Shazie's not defending well. They're turning and getting their shots off. Yeah, they're not as aggressive as they need to be. They need to step up on the players and, and, and really try to impede their ability to turn. That was a nicely taken shot by Birdo. Just cleared the upper 90, um, but it looked dangerous from uh, about 22, 23 yards out. So we have some substitutions coming in for Plattsburgh on the next whistle. And uh, Lee may want to talk about who's ready to check into the game. We have Maddie Fuller waiting to check in. Uh, Bella Miller, Steffi Trombley, and Emma Tuller. So a couple young underclassmen there and uh, some, some of veterans coming in for the Hornets. And of course, Steffi Trombley is the daughter of coach Karen Sherman Trombley, who had much success here as a Shazy coach. Yeah, All-time winning as coach as far as percentage goes uh, here at Shazy. And so the ball is on the far side. Plattsburgh will get the throw in. 
halfway into Shazy territory. Ball comes into play far side. Goes off the head of Gordo into the hands of the goalie Gagno. So she'll work her way to the 18 and she will punt this ball. We're at 26-43 if you're joining us. There is no score here in this championship game. The shots do favor the Hornets, six to one. They have, up to this point, have taken the play to the, the Eagles. In the first minute, Ava McCullough broke through and hit the goal post for Shay-Z. But other than that, it's been all Plattsburgh so far in this game. And here come the Hornets, a nice through ball. And there's a shot wide, a beautiful pass by number 10, Houston, And missing the shot on the far side, I don't know if that was Gordo or not. It could have also been Emma Kohler. I think it, I think it was Bella Miller actually, but it's a couple of nice plays there. Bailey Houston, number 10. She's a freshman and she's stirring the drink up there for the Hornets right now uh, with possession and, and nice through balls. So it's a goal kick uh, for Shazy. Lucas is taking the goal kick for the Eagles. And coming out of the game for Shazy is Amelia Smith. Ball comes in and uh, it goes to Abby Hucker. Oh, Hucker will bow in the ball with Neil. She sends it a nice simple pass over to uh, Collins. Collins trying to find uh, Brooke Stevens for Shay Z. Far side. And the ball is cleared forward by Maddie Fuller, the senior. And turned by Miller. Far side. Here comes Toller. Nice speed coming down. We'll get a shot across the line. And it goes. Side net, so another goal kick coming up for Shazy. Uh, we failed to mention uh, checking in last substitute was Brooke Stevens making her varsity debut um, for the for Shazy. She's a freshman um, here at Shazy. And Hadley Lucas again will take the goal kick for Shazy. We're at 25 minutes left in the first half. We have no score in this championship game in the Jan Davis Memorial Labor Day tournament. Ball comes into play. It's on to the feet of Mulligan. Mulligan trying to cut the corner, being defended by McChesney and also Harvey. Uh, the ball is pushed back, it goes off of the Hornets. So a throw in for Shay Z. Sequoia McChesney for Shay Z gets the ball into play. It gets on to the feet of Abby Huckerl. Huckerl has it taken away by uh, number 13, Abelard. Abelard gives the ball up to Mulligan. The eighth grader will look to serve it. She sends it into the box. And he was trying to clear it, and there's a shot by Bella Miller wide of the net. And another goal kick coming up for Shay Z. And Leah, I always said this, you don't want to keep saying another goal kick, another goal kick. Yeah, uh, thankfully they're not, they're not corner kicks, but um, goal kicks that mean that there's shots being taken toward the goal. And that was a full volley attempt there by Bella Miller right around the penalty stripe that went wide. Had she been able to get her hip around on it, it would have been big trouble for um, Sam Gagne. So Lucas with the short kick, and there looks to be a foul on Bella Miller just outside the 18. So Lee, here's a great opportunity with a direct kick for the Hornets, and they're gonna, the Eagles should be setting up a wall, you would think. You, there's no wall, yeah, and again, that's maybe part of this defensive disorganization out there. Um, so taking this kick is number six, I think, Wiley. And she goes wide, and she ripped that shot nice. And it just went wider than that. I'm not sure if Ganya would have got that. That was, uh, yeah, no, I apologize. That was number 15, Sophie Birdo, taking that shot. She's senior captain, and she's been uh, all over the ball out there early on. So another goal kick for Shazy at the 23 minute, 16 second mark. It will be Hadley Lucas, as she has been doing all this first half, taking the goal kicks for Shazy. <laughs> Lucas sends the ball forward. She's trying to find the feet of Lexi Clark, and it's picked up by Abelard. Avalar trying to cut it in. Nice play by Hucker taken away from behind her. Hucker with the ball, but she has it taken away by Bordo. Bordo has in front of her Mulligan. Free. Mulligan will look to serve it. She does. It goes across. And Gagno's there. And it's a good thing because you had number 10, Bailey Houston, coming in on the weak side. Sam Gagno um, playing strong out there. Um, nice save there by McAuliffe to keep that ball in, in bound, but then cleared off. Uh, by Alyssa Hemingway, the sweeper. So throw in for Shazy right at their bench as Coach Sam Signer in her sixth year here at Shazy hands the ball to McChesney. And McChesney gets the ball in, trying to find Huckrow. And that ball is defended well by Neal. She sends the ball forward onto the feet of Miller. Miller chips it up, trying to find Houston. Houston does have the ball, has some space. Hits a through ball into the open space. Coming back is Lucas. Lucas does a nice job taking it away from Tuller, sends it forward. 
and it is a number 13, Abelard, gets the ball. She gives it up over to Bordeaux. Bordeaux goes to the far side to Maddie Fuller. Fuller sends the ball forward back to Toller. Toller being defended. Ball goes to the open space. It's picked up by Miller. Miller goes back trying to find Toller, but it's cleared out by the Shazy defense on the far side. And now taken away by number 26, Fuller, but she has it knocked away, so it's now knocked into the Shazy offensive zone. But defensively, it's Hemingway. Hemingway does a nice job, and it goes off of McCullough, takes it off of McCullough, throw in far side at midfield, the Hornets. Ball comes in, and it's near the sideline, far sideline. The ball is sent forward. It's picked up by number 26, Fuller. Fuller gets it on to the feet of uh, Miller. Miller getting to Toller. Toller working away. Left footed gets a shot off. And Ganya is there. Ganya will work her way to the 18 for a punt. And Ganya's got a special uh, uh, person watching tonight. Her uh, was the goalkeeper for her for her mom. Um, it would be Lori Lefave. Yeah, sorry, I was, I was distracted Lori by the play. Lori Lefave is here at George Brunner Field tonight. Um, and so she was very excited to watch Sam play goal. And it is the Number 17, Miller, has the ball taken away by Hadley Lucas. She sends the ball forward, trying to find McCullough. And it's at midfield, controlled by the Hornets. Ball pushed back onto the feet of Hemingway. Hemingway sends it forward. It's picked up by Toller. Toller being defended. And it goes on to the feet of Miller, back to Toller. Toller working her way down to the far sideline. She's working her way to the end line and Toller cannot keep it in. It goes off the end line, and it actually goes off a Shazy player, so a corner kick coming up for the Hornets. Far side, it looks like Aubrey Mulligan, the eighth grader, is gonna take the corner kick. This first corner kick of the match for the Hornets. Um, they are dangerous um, on the ball. Normally, we'll see how they are in the air. No score at the 20-minute mark. A lot of pressure from the Hornets. Ball's in the box. Shazy trying to clear it, and Gagno's there. She comes up with it, and Coach Mulligan's biggest job right now is to get his girls how to figure out how to solve Sam Gagno. Yeah, um, Shazy defense is bending, but they haven't broken yet, and that's largely due in part to Sam Gagno's uh, heroics early on. And it's McAuliffe in the offensive zone, sends it to the far sideline. Hustling for Shazy is number 10, Abby Huckrow. Huckrow working her way down, and it is out of bounds. So it looks like a throw in for Shazy deep in their own territory. Checking in for Shazy right now is uh, Camden Mayo coming in, and she's going to replace uh, Sequoia McChesney. So a throw in deep into uh, PHS territory for the Eagles. Ball comes into the feet of Lexi Clark. Clark turns, sends the ball forward, and it goes into the hands of Whalen. She'll work her way to the 18, and she'll get a punt off, let the players run down the field, taking her time. At the 1851 mark, we have no score in this championship game. Ball is sent forward to the outside. Picked up by the Hornets. Miller goes to the open space, hustling back for Shay-Z. Defensively is Belrose. Belrose still trying to clear the ball, but it goes to Abelard. Abelard outside the 18. Cuts it back inside, but it's cleared out on the outside, but coming up for PHS is Neil. Neil picks it up, gives it up over to Bordo. Bordo with the ball has Abelard. Abelard. She now works her way to the 18, looking to get a shot off, defended well. Goes on to the feet of Burrow. Burrow comes to the near side, gets it to Mulligan. Mulligan pushes it back. On to the feet of Neal. Neal's up from the defensive end. Neal working her way in. She has space. Neal is now inside the box. Gets a shot off. And right there is Gagno. It was a weak shot, no danger. And Gagno will work her way to the 18. And the Hornets are just picking away at the, at the Eagles, trying to get their best opportunity for a shot to beat. Gagno, um, and that's why a lot of short passing plays there at the top of the 18, trying to find that person who may have a free shot. And right now, Shazy is controlling, just checking into the game with number 21, Mayo. Mayo has it taken away from her by uh, Mulligan. Mulligan will look to serve it. She does. On the weak side uh, was Toller, but gets by Toller. She now picks it up. She's defended by Langlois. Langlois and Toller end line. It goes off of, it looks like it goes off of Toller, so we have another corner kick and substitutions too at the same time. Uh, checking in are Tessa Bonabess, Bella Gerard, and Emma Hayes. And it looks going to uh, take the corner kick this time is Sophie Burdo. 
as Mulligan is coming off the field. Bordeaux will take the corner kick. It's the far side. They're going from left to right, so it's the far corner. Corner kick for the Hornets at 16.54. It's a low kick, and it's cleared out uh, by Langlois. It'll be another corner kick for the Hornets as Langlois just cleared it away, and Bordeaux will take this kick. Here comes Bordeaux. There's a shot way up there, and Gano just lets it cradle into her hands, and she'll work her way to the 18, 16-30, no score. Shots favor the Hornets, 8-1, and they lead in the corner kick category, 3-1, and the one shot that the Eagles had could have been a goal lead. Yeah, right in the very beginning of the game as Ava McAuliffe streaked down the right-hand side and rifled it off the near post. And the ball is being controlled by the Hornets. Uh, Miller on the right side, she has switched fields. She is on our near side now. Miller going to take a shot left-footed. She does. It's a weak shot. Daniel's there. And it looks like Shazie's only hope right now, unless things turn around, they can start controlling the midfield, is a breakaway by McCullough. Yeah, I, I think transition will be the big thing. Um, if they can capitalize on a miscue, a defensive miscue, and utilize their speed, as we see it right now as McCullough breaks away. So McCullough with the ball, trying to defend is Hayes for Plasberg, and it's McCullough with her speed. Gets a shot off from distance. It runs off the uh, defense of Plasberg. And there's a shot by a number 10, our Abby Huckrow. So there was a decent shot, and Whalen was there. Yeah, um, Emma Whalen's a good goalkeeper. Um, I understand McAuliffe wanting to challenge her from distance, but she was about 30, 30 plus yards out when she tried to take a shot. It's going to take a perfect shot to beat the goalkeeper at that. And Lexi Clark followed up with a nice shot on goal afterward. And Abelard loses the ball to uh, number 19 for Shea Z, which is Lexi Clark, and she clears it out of bounds. So on the sideline, so a throw in for the Hornets. They're halfway into the defensive zone of uh, their own defensive zone. The ball is cleared out, and we have substitutions for Shea Z. Amelia Smith uh, checking back in, and she's going to be replacing Brooke Stevens. And it'll be a throw in for Shea Z right below us at the press box. It is going to be Caitlin Harvey with the throw in. The ball comes in to try to find Mayo. And it's picked up by Miller. Miller sends it forward as she's trying to find a Tessa, Be a Tessa Best. Throw in for Shay Z. Or Bonabest. Bonabest. Yeah. The ball's in from Harvey. She gets it into Mayo. And the ball goes back to the defensive end. Hadley Lucas for Shay Z. Cuts it to the inside, taking away by Bonabest. Bonabest and Lucas. Lucas, nice job. You can tell. Uh, she's a senior player, took it just inside the corner post so there wasn't a corner kick. And here are these wholesale changes you talked about, Lee, that Coach Mulligan did in game one. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't catch them all because I think there was about six coming in. Um, but yeah, he's going to start to utilize his depth. As Shazy starting to wear down a little bit, having to defend so much, it takes a lot of energy having to backpedal and, and defend. And actually, Hadley Lucas took it off the defender of uh, Plattsburgh, so it's a, uh, a goal kick for the Eagles and Lucas waits for the whistle and the ball goes forward it lands just in front of McCullough McCullough gets it over to Jenna Collins Collins trying to switch fields but it's picked up by Maddie Fuller she sends the ball forward onto the feet of Corson Corson working her way down gets a shot across and off the line is Gagno and Gagno had no danger there but she'll work her way to the 18 and here comes the punt. It's a nice high punt, just shy of midfield. Lance just shy of midfield. McCullough's trying to get to the ball, it's knocked away. And it is picked up by number 13, Smith for Shay Z, but she has it taken away by Corson. Corson goes down the line and knocked away by Langlois, throw in for the Hornets. And the crowd again uh, roars on the far side. Uh, we mentioned earlier, it's nice to see the, uh, the bleachers are at least half full. There's people lined up along the fence line for the entire length of the field. Uh, the cooking food over there at the Athletic Association booth. So, um, yeah, good night for soccer here at Shea Z. It's cool, uh, not much of a breeze. The skies are, are partly cloudy. Um, I'd say we're probably low 60s, high 50s right now. Beautiful night for soccer. Very comfortable night for soccer. And here's the kick by the Eagles. 
and it goes on to the feet of uh, Corson. Corson working her way back down. Here's an opportunity for the Hornets. An offer line was Gagno, and coming on strong was Ger uh, that number two. Yeah, seven. Bella Gerard. Bella Gerard, number 11. Yeah, that was a great opportunity for the Eagles. Bella Gerard took one long touch there, and that gave Sam Gagno the cue to come and snag that ball, which she did nicely. Now here's McAuliffe on the far end, working to try to get past number seven, Olivia Gottschall, another senior captain there for the for the Hornets. And it's McCullough sends the ball back. It goes back to her. She cuts back. She's being defended well by Belay. And McCullough sends it to the open space, but it goes on to the feet of Girard. Girard has it knocked away. Or Z is number 19. Lexi Clark, Clark defending. Goes to the open space to Bonabessi. Bonabessi working her way down, being defended by Lucas. Lucas and Bonabessi, near sideline. There's a battle for the ball, Bonabessi and Lucas. And Bonabessi tries to send the ball back, but it goes off the sideline, so a throw in. And no, it went off of Lucas, so it's a throw in for the uh, Hornets. It's Emma Hayes with a throw in, and she gets the ball into Bonabessi. Bonabessi gets it back to Hayes. Hayes sends it forward, and it's cleared out by Mayo, deflects, but it goes on to the feet of Bonabessi. Bonabessi has it taken away by Lucas, but it goes on to the feet of Emma Hayes. Hayes sends it forward off the end line. Goal kick for Shazy. We're at 10 minutes and 43 seconds. We have no score here in the first half. Eight shots to two favor PHS. And Lee, I'm impressed. The score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, um, as we as I mentioned earlier, it's the defense is, is on the verge. It, they're, they're bending, but they haven't broken the nets in large part to Sam Gagno, who's done a great job in the goal. She's been aggressive. She's had her angles correct, and she's not been afraid to come for the ball uh, when she needs to. So, yes, it, Coach Signor has got to be pleased for that, uh, but there needs to be adjustments. And it is McCullough battling a Boulay. Boulay goes to the far side to Corson. Corson working her way down back to the defense of Smith. She's on the end line, and she pushes it back. And it's going to uh, Corson. And the ball is in the box. The Eagles are trying to clear it, and they do, but it goes off the end line. So another corner kick coming up for the Hornets. Now, Caitlin Harvey took that ball off the end line um, as a safety precaution just because the ball was centered in, and that was the best move for her. Uh, we failed to mention that at the last substitution making her varsity debut for Shazy is Shiloh Carroll. She came on for Camden Mayo. She's wearing number 22, which happens to be Rob McCullough's old number. There's a little trivia for you Shay Z fans out there. And here's a shot from the Hornets. And that ball goes way over everything and it went into the Field of Dreams. The Field of Dreams, uh, that was uh, Fuller that took that shot, to uh, Maddie Fuller, and it went high over the uh, into the cornfield and uh, drawing the duty to find it is uh, Elena Pilon and Haley Lauren. They're gonna have to go look for that ball and see if they can locate it in the Even cornfield. Coach Rob McAuliffe is heading down to the corner and uh, can you imagine Coach coming out with a field of dreams? <laughs> yes, yeah, stuff stories are made of, right? <laughs> oh, here comes the Hornets again. There's a shot that deflects off a uh, happy Lucas. And nice play by Lucas as number 11, Gerard, wanted to get a shot off. And the ball is cleared off to the sideline by number 19, Lexi Clark, trying to find uh, Langlois on the far sideline. There's a battle that's picked up by Fuller. Fuller, outside of her foot, sends it down the line. Hustling is Corson. Corson gets a shot across, and it's Lucas back there defensively for Shay Z. And I think Coach Signor did a good thing putting Lucas back into that position. Yeah, she's their most experienced player on the uh, on the field, and um, she handles the ball well. She she has good vision of the field. It was it was one of those things. Oftentimes you'll see it. Um, you put your best player in the in the defensive positions player who's calm and, and cerebral and able to make good decisions defensively. That's who you want back there sweeping. And Bella Girard gets a shot off and again it's Sam Gagno up to the pass. She makes the save. Punts the ball high in the air and that's going to be a handball on Maddie Fuller. So Shazy will have a, a direct kick about five, six yards short of midfield and more toward the far sideline at the 7.36 mark. And again here comes Mulligan with his wholesale changes. Yeah, it looks like five young ladies waiting to check in next opportunity for the Hornets as uh, Hadley Lucas lines up to take this direct kick uh, about 15 yards into uh, her own territory. Lucas sends the ball forward, nice kick. 
and that lane's uh, short and deflected by the defense of the Hornets. It was number seven, Dacho. And the ball is back into the defensive zone of Shazy. It's cleared out by Lucas. So we have throw in for the uh, Hornets, and here come the wholesale changes. And one that I pick up is Abelard has checked back into the game, as well as uh, Hemingway and Neal, and I missed the other two. Uh, Bailey Houston checked back in, so that's a going to be more difficulty for the Eagles defense as she's really done a nice job on the, uh, on the, on the striker position for the Hornets. Deep throw in for the Hornets or down to the far sideline and the Hornets are trying to work their way down. They push the ball back and now it's sent back down the sideline and it's defended well by the Hornets. And Corson gets the ball up over to Bordo. Bordo working her way down being defended by Belrose, trying to get a shot off. It deflects off the defense, and the shot again is deflected. And coming off the line is Daniel scores, and it's Haley Ledoux. And Lee, I guess we could say it was just a matter of time on the pressure the Hornets were putting on the Eagles. Yeah, and uh, nobody else you would expect but Haley Ledoux to finish that. She's uh, got a scorer's touch for the Hornets, so she finishes with 6 minutes and 11 seconds left. Uh, Gagnon came out to try to stop that ball, but it was well placed by um, well placed by uh, by the Duke. And it was Bordo gets the assist, and that's not a surprise either. She's had a good first half. Yeah, um, really. Yeah, Sophie Bordo has been an outstanding job out there for for Plattsburgh High School. Here comes McAuliffe off the kickoff. And McAuliffe working away on the far sideline, but Abelard was there to deflect the ball off the sideline. So throw in for the Eagles. And the ball is bouncing around. It's picked up by the Eagles. And it is, uh, you check the game, Shiloh Carroll into the game. Pass for a goal, scored by number five. Side line, to find lane boys. Ball kept into play. And the ball just goes out of bounds as Haley will do a hustle to get to the ball. Throw in for Shay Z. Ball comes into play, and it's Lane Royce sends it back to Harvey, and Hadley Lucas sends it forward onto the feet of Huckrow, and it's cleared out by the defense of Gacho at the 517 mark. Yeah, uh, the uh, boys, uh, Plattsburgh High School boys team doing the kind of like the bleacher creatures at Yankee Stadium. They're doing the Haley Ledoux chance over there after she scored that and goal. And here she comes, Haley Ledoux. And she rips a shot from distance. I'm a little surprised, Lee, that she had all this space. Why she just didn't take it toward the goalie? I'm wondering if that was a failed attempt at a cross, perhaps. And Sam Gagne was all the way out there at the corner flag, clearing the ball forward. So, yeah, it may have been a failed attempt at a cross. It looked kind of like a shot to me. But, yeah, not, a, not the best decision to make. And the ball's at midfield, far sideline. It's sent forward onto the feet of Kohler. Kohler makes the move. And it's Keller working her way down. She's being defended by McAuliffe was back there defensively. She sends the ball forward trying to find Abby Huffer. Huffer with the ball, cuts it to the inside. Huffer goes to the open space. Nobody there for the Eagles and stepping up for the Hornets is at number 18, Neal. Neal sends it forward, goes off of the feet of Langlois, cleared by Lucas into the open space. And it is Langlois battling the ball with uh, number 15, Bordo. Bordo and Langlois, and Bordo does a nice job taking it away from Langlois. She goes to the open space, and there is a number 10, Houston. Houston being guarded by Lucas. Ball's pushed back to uh, Abelard. Abelard gives the ball up to Boulay. Boulay back to Abelard, being defended by number 22, Shiloh Carroll. And here comes the far sideline, it's Corson. She's looking to get a shot across the line. She does, and it goes off the end line. And we have a goal kick for Shazy and a couple more substitutions for the Hornets. A couple more coming on is Bella Miller and Aubrey Mulligan checking back in. We're at uh, three minutes and 22 seconds remaining here in the first half. Plattsburgh High School, one nothing lead here in this Jan Davis Memorial Tournament Championship match. Shots favor the Hornets 10 to two. Corner kicks favor the Hornets four to one and a goal kick with Hadley Lucas, the senior captain. Sends the ball forward, and she's trying to find the feet of Shiloh Carroll, but it's picked up by Corson. and she gets a shot off, and it will go to fuck off the Shazy player. So we have a corner kick coming back up for the 
uh, Hornets, and it looks like number nine, uh, the eighth grader, Aubrey Mulligan, will take the corner kick, far corner for the Hornets. Much like her brother Owen, uh, she seems, when she's on the field, she seems to handle the corner kick duties. Um, so she's lining up now to take that. Plattsburgh uh, is uh, divided evenly throughout the 18. It's a short kick, just bounces shy of the 18, cleared out by the Eagles. Far sideline, hustling for the ball is McCullough, but it goes out of bounds. It's a throw in for the uh, Hornets. It will be Morgan Hall uh, with the throw in for Plattsburgh, and a nice throw in. And that just bounces short. It's short hop by Lucas. She goes on the far sideline trying to find Carroll. And that goes off the end line. So it's a goal kick for Shady Z. And we have a substitution for the uh, or the Eagles. Uh, Brooke Stevens checking back in for Shay Z. And she'll be taking off Amelia Smith. Um, so the two-minute warning was just announced. And Shay Z will be pleased, I think, to get out of this half with a one nothing deficit. Well, we got a minute 41. We'll see if it stays that way, but I will agree with you. If they can get out of this with a 1-0 deficit, I think Coach Signor will be happy with that. The ball is sent forward, and it is into the offensive zone for the, e uh, the Eagles, and it's 7-on-7. Seven seven. It goes out of bounds, and it'll be a throw in for the uh, Lady Hornets, and the ball will go to Morgan Hall. She gets the ball into play. She gets it to Abelard. Abelard turns. Works her way to the midfield, still with the ball, has it deflected, and a nice job by Belrose, not getting it into the defensive zone of the, the Hornets, but the Hornets need control. They send the ball forward. It gets on to Miller. The nice play by Lucas. She stops Miller, now sends the ball forward, and that goes off of the feet of Hemingway to the far sideline, trying to keep the ball into play for Shazy is number 20, Brooke Stevens, who just checked in the game. It was a really nice play there, just previous to that, by Bailey Houston, a freshman for, um, for the Hornets. She possessed the ball in midfield, stutter, stutter step, uh, did a, a overstep, back, pulled it back to her, and then a really nice through ball, um, looking for uh, number 17, who was uh, Bella Miller. And here comes Abelard trying to get one more, and there's a shot. She scores from distance! Abelard rips a shot from about 20 yards out, and that went over the hands of Ganyo with 17 seconds left in the first half, and that was a great A goal. Yeah, she just rifled a shot. I would say it's probably close to 25 to 30 yards out, and it was a, it was on a rope, and it was over the hands of Ganyo. Uh, nothing could be done. Ganyo was a little bit off her line, so as she jumped, the ball still had room to dip over her head. So, real nice goal by uh, Amaya Abelard. So, and it was 13 unassisted. It was Amaya Abelard. Just a beautiful, beautiful shot, and the Hornets go up 2-0. And Lee, we thought they might get to the half, only trailing by one, but it looks like they'll be trailing by two. Yeah, I, I guess I, I shouldn't have spoke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're in the final 10. McCullough's trying to get a shot off. And, uh, you know, the one thing is we'll talk about it at the halftime show. And the first half has come to a conclusion. It's Plattsburgh 2, Shazing 0 in the Dan Davis uh, Memorial Championship Game Labor Day Tournament. You are listening to the Sports Authority of the North Country Hometown Radio, WIRY, 1340 AM. So the players are back on the field, and it's the Hornets will be going from right to left. They're wearing their all-white uniforms. Shazy from left to right. Their home uniforms are all green. And the uh, Eagles will take the uh, start here for the second half. They're just waiting for the official. And this game is back on. McCulloch will send the ball back to the feet of Clark. Clark comes back to McCulloch here on the near sideline. She gets it over to Langlois. Langlois tries to chip it back to McCulloch, but it's picked up by number 18, Neil. Neil gives the ball up to Steffi Trombley, who started the second half. And it goes. she sends it back to Emma Whalen. Wellen will switch fields. She goes to the far side. She's trying to find Emma Toller, the eighth grader. Ball's knocked away, and it is picked up by the Hornets. Far side, ball is sent forward. It gets just past Maddie Fuller, and it'll be a throw in for Shazy. They're halfway into Hornet territory, far sideline. 
ball comes into play, and they're going to call that an illegal throw-in. Yeah, we illegal. See the guys do that all the time. Yeah, and and that's it's one of my pet peeves, of course, as you listen to me on, on either hometown uh, cable or on wiry. Um, I can't stand watching illegal throw-ins, but uh, yeah, that was an illegal throw-in there. So the Hornets are bringing the ball down the field far sideline, throwing off the sideline, and not a quick throw-in by the, the Hornets, and Hadley Lucas sends the ball far sideline, and it goes out of bounds off of the Hornets, throwing for the Eagles. Ball goes down the sideline, ball headed to the middle of the field, and there's just kind of a clump of players right now, and it's Adelard. She picks the ball up, she's trying to break away from the pack. She's into the offensive zone. Adelard gets by Lexi Clark. She cuts back. They look to switch fields. No, she gets a shot off. Shot from distance, no problem for Ganyo, and she'll work her way to the 18. And she'll pump this ball. She has a nice punt. That's a nice high punt. And that ball right at midfield bounces, goes over McAuliffe's head, onto the feet of Steffi Trombley. Trombley has the open space, stepping up for Shay Z to McCullough, and she gets a through ball to Langlois. Langlois working her way down the sideline, defending is uh, Bonabessi, and it's Bonabessi foul on Aubrey um, Langlois, so it'll be a kick coming up for the, the Hornets. Well, that's the Hemingway to take this direct kick uh, for Plattsburgh High School is uh, Audrey Langlois was doing some hard work down the sideline, defended nicely there by Tessa Bonabas. And the ball's at midfield, it's controlled by Gerard. Gerard has it knocked away by Smith. Smith sends it forward, but it's picked up by number 18, Neil. And now goes right to the center of the field. She gives it to the feet of Bordo. Bordo turns, she's being defended by Clark. She turns back, comes to the near sideline to Lexi Neal. Neal now sends the ball forward to try and find Bonabessi. Bonabessi comes up, she cuts to the inside. Bonabessi is being challenged by Bellows. Bonabessi and Bellows battling for the ball. Bonabessi sends it back, gets it onto the feet of Neal. Neal now sends it forward, trying to find Bonabessi. Back there is Lucas. Lucas sends the ball forward. It goes off of number two, Bonabessi, onto the feet of Lexi Neal. Neal has it not knocked away. Now it goes to Abelard. Abelard, a shot from distance, and that goes over everything. So a goal kick for the Eagles. Well, lots of confidence in the young lady as Amaya Abelard again takes a shot from uh, 25 plus yards out. Uh, this one was wide. She was trying to go uh, far upper 90. Uh, Sam Gagne was more prepared this time and she was back on her line a little bit more uh, so she could deflect it over if she needed to. So it's a goal kick. It will be Hadley uh, Lucas for Shazie, the senior captain, will take the goal kick at the 36-17 mark left in the second half. We're early in the second half. The ball goes forward and here comes Bordo. She gets the ball. She's at the 18. She can get a shot off. She rips a shot. And right there is Gagno. And Bordo was trying to go to one of the angles. And she went directly at Gagno. Yeah, she had a great opportunity. But she wasn't able to make the placement she wanted on that shot. She was being pressured there by Lucas. And that forced her to shoot sooner than she'd like. And here comes Shazie on the far sideline. It's Lexi Clark working her way down the sideline. But she's defended well by uh, the, uh, the Hornet defense. And the ball goes out of bounds. It should be a throw in for the Eagles. It'll be a Smith, and the whistle blows. And they said, no, it's actually the Hornet throw in. So it's the Hornets with the throw in. Far sideline. Ball comes into play. Back there defensively is Bellrose. Bellrose gets it to Lucas. Lucas sends the ball forward at midfield, knocked forward by Steph Trombley. Ball at midfield, and it is McCullough kicks the ball backwards, and it goes on to the feet of Hemingway. Hemingway calmly sends the ball back to midfield to Abelard. To Abelard for the Hornets being defended by Bellrose. Gets by Bellrose. She has space. Abelard working her way up, cuts it to the inside. It's Abelard. Cuts it now back. Here's Abelard has a chance. Scores! And Abelard just bent that shot. You had to see here to believe it, but she just bent that shot at curve hit the far post and into the net. And she danced by three defenders um, with some really nice footwork. And she walks into the top of the 18. Sam Gagne was just like, she's doing one of these things like, what, 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 what could I do? It bent the ball. It was going to go wide. It appeared to be, it was going to go wide, far post, bent in, off the post, into the net. Just an absolutely beautiful goal. There's nothing that Gagne could have done on no. that shot. That was just a pitcher, perfect shot. 
by Abelard. Uh, so that young lady has two goals tonight. Yeah, as she did the first the first round match as well. So uh, I mentioned earlier in the game, she's uh, she's a name to remember. Well, then you're going to remember her tonight, that's for sure. It's three nothing the Hornets. Two goals by Abelard. They lead in the shot category, 14 to two. We are at the 34, 45 minute mark, and here comes McCullough trying to work her way outside the 18. She sends it across the open field. She was taken down. So here's a direct kick for the Eagles. Just outside the 18 far side. So we have a direct kick coming up for the Eagles, and I think they'll let McCullough take the shot. Yeah, I, I think it'll be Ava to take this shot. Um, it's distant, it's a good spot. She And she has a, a rifle anyway, but it's a good distance for her. And uh, so there's a four person wall, no, nope, three person wall now for the Hornets. And uh, as uh, McAuliffe is lining up, it's a little far for a shot on goal, but I think if they run far post, they make it an opportunity. Well, McAuliffe is lining up and she's hitting a shot and she went far post, but it was over everybody. So it's gonna be a goal kick for the Hornets. That is a good opportunity, unfortunately, unable to capitalize there. Um, and, in, in, in set pieces are something you, try to work on early in the season, but there's been very limited uh, practice time prior to this game, as Coach McAuliffe was talking about uh, before this game started, we were just kind of you know, shooting the breeze. Um, so that's something that they'll work on over the course of the next several practices. So the ball is in play, it goes right on the feet of Abelard, and she just one times it back to Mila, and it's picked up by Bonabessi. Bonabessi tries to send it forward, it goes off of Berto, deflects it back to the feet of Neil. And the one thing I with the Hornets in me is the Eagles are giving them way too much respect. Yeah, they're, they're not uh, pressuring enough, and they're, the Hornets are able to, to control the pass, trap it, make a decision and, and go forward without having too much pressure on them from the beginning. Shazy trying to amount some kind of effort here in the second half. It's McCullough being challenged by the defense of Boulay. Boulay wins that battle, goes to midfield. It's just touched up onto the feet of Gerard. And Gerard gives the ball back up, working away to the 18. And here comes on the far sideline, ball comes across, deflected, weak side. Oh, and there's a shot by Bonabessi, had the weak side wide open and went over the net. Yeah, and she's got her head hung a little bit. She knew she had a great opportunity there. She was just about, uh, just outside, maybe eight yards out. The ball rolled to her foot, and as she went inside the foot, the way she's supposed to, but she leaned back a bit, and the ball cleared over the net uh, by quite a margin. Hadley Lucas at the 32-14 second mark will take the uh, goal kick. It is the Hornets three, Shazy zero in this championship game at the George Bremer Field on the Jan Davis Memorial Labor Day Tournament. Ball goes off the sideline, substitution for Shazy. Uh, checking in for the first time tonight is Lily Marsden, and coming off for the Eagles is Audrey Langlois. So far, uh, sideline throw in for Shay Z. Ball comes into play off of the head of McAuliffe. McAuliffe now working her way down. A nice job defensively by Hemingway. Heads the ball down. And the ball is sent forward into the Shay Z uh, defensive territory. Back there is Lucas trying to get there before uh, Bordo. She does, and she just clears it off the sideline. So a throw in for the Hornets. And we didn't mention that Alyssa Hemingway earned the assist on um, Amaya Abelard's second goal. So that was an assist to uh, the sweeper, Alyssa Hemingway. And here's Abelard again. Here's Abelard again looking for the hat trick. Coming off the line is Daniel, and Daniel sneaks her ground. Abelard goes tripping over her, and uh, they kind of got there at the same time, but yeah. a very innocent play. It was a good play, excellent play. No, no, nothing wrong with that as Sam Gagnon held her ground and made the nice save. Ball at midfield, it's controlled by Mulligan. Mulligan working her way down. She one times it on to the feet of Gerard. Gerard working her way down to the 18. It's Gerard trying to get a shot off. Back there is Lucas. Lucas defends it, but goes back to Gerard. Gerard pushes it back, trying to get it to Abelard, but it's deflected away onto the feet of Boulay. Boulay with the ball gives it up onto the feet of Fuller. Fuller sends it forward, but it's cleared back toward the uh, midfield by the Eagles. And just inside Flatsburg territory, far sideline, McAuliffe is battling for the ball, and it's won by the Hornets, and it goes on to the feet of Mulligan. And Mulligan goes out of bounds off of Shazy, so it'll be a throw in for the Hornets. 
Ball comes in, nice hard throwing on to the uh, feet of Gerard. Ella Gerard now sends the ball into the 18. Off her line is Gagno. And Gagno's right at the 18, and she'll punt this ball. The scoreboard says nine saves for Sam Gagno, but I really don't believe that. <laughs> I'm thinking it's more closer to 15 or so. Uh, she's done an outstanding job back there for the Eagles. Uh, they're getting vastly outshot here. Um, the, the defense of Shazy is really struggling here tonight. I think it was nine shots in the first 15 minutes. <laughs> here comes, here comes the Abelard. She's working her way down. She gets by number 11, Harvey Abelard. Here's Abelard coming in, Gagno. Abelard and Gagno. Gagno knocks it away, coming off the line. And Lucas keeps it to the near sideline. And hustling for the ball is Harvey, but it's picked up by number four, uh, Tom Blue. Steffi Tom Blue working her way in, cuts it in. Sends the ball over to Abelard. Abelard has it knocked away. Lucas battles the ball along with Avada Bessie. And stepping up to help out is Tron Blue. Tron Blue now sends it to the top of the key. Bertle looking to break the defense. Bertle gets a shot off on the left. Score! Left footed! And Bertle left footed with upper 90. Gagno had no chance. She bent that one in too. So um, these Plattsburgh young women can really shoot the ball. As, as was evident there, Sophie Berto with a beautiful left foot bended shot uh, inside the near post. Uh, no chance for Gagno. And that's 4 nothing Plattsburgh High School. Lee, I will tell you this. I mean, the, the excitement for the, uh, the student body for PHS is kind of fun to hear. But these girls, they're skilled, they're fast. I mean, they've hit shots that you don't normally see at the high school level. Yeah, I mean, certainly not around here. Right. Um, class, class B, and, and they're going to be, uh, my guess is they're going to be, between them and Saranac, perhaps, the class of Class B. Um, uh, this year, uh, Northeastern Clinton, you can never count them out either, but, and who knows about Peru, so, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm going to eat my words again, but this is going to be a very strong team this year. And the ball is with the defensive zone of Shea Z as the Hornets are having their way to the Eagles here in this championship game. 28-31 left in the second half, it's 4-0 to zero the Hornets. The shots favor the Hornets 15-2, but I'm like Lee. Mm. It seems a lot worse than that. And they're called, oh, we have a player down yeah. for Shea Z. It looks okay. like Audrey Langlois. Um, and it, I, I heard a scream out there, so let's hope for the best. I hope it's nothing serious. No, we don't need to have any, uh, any players go down on either side. You hate to see that. And uh, you are listening to the Sports Authority of the North Country, hometown radio, uh, 1340 AM. Um, the field in place of um, Langlois as she takes a breather and maybe gets a little rehab for the injury that she sustained. Um, we're looking at 28-23 remaining in the second half. Plattsburgh High School with a 4-0 lead here in the championship match of the, of the uh, Jan Davis Memorial Tournament here at George Brenner Field. So the, uh, the game is ready to restart. And uh, Reagan, the referee, Steve Reagan is talking to uh, Ava McAuliffe, and it looks like it's going to be a drop ball. And uh, no, it's going to be a kick for the Eagles. And McAuliffe sends the ball forward. It deflects off of um, Jenna Collins. It's the ball at midfield, controlled by the Hornets. It's Billy Houston. She's trying to get the ball up over onto the feet of uh, Isabel Wiley. Wiley has it knocked away toward midfield, but stepping up is uh, Galicio. Galicio for the Hornets. Sends the ball onto the feet of Cola, and Cola gives the ball to Bordeaux. Bordeaux working away toward the 18th. Outside her foot passes the ball. Here goes a shot. And that rips the post by Cola. Shot again, saved by Gagno and Emma Toller. She ripped the shot off the post, got the rebound, and Gagno was there. Yeah, she went near post, uh, perhaps surprising Gagno a little bit, but she struck that ball well. It hit the post square, bounced right back to her, but Sam was able to corral the rebound um, and make a nice save there. And what's impressive with this uh, Hornet team, well, here's McAuliffe hustling down, coming off her line is Whalen, and McAuliffe can't get the shot off, and it deflects off the goalie, so we have a corner kick is that you have three eighth graders that are impact players at a school the size of Plattsburgh High School. Yeah, and, and you have to wonder, if, if they had a JV squad, would they play JV? Maybe a numbers game, uh, but they certainly are varsity level talent, yeah. no question. Yeah, we're seeing that tonight. And it's McCullough 
Forche Z on the near post. Corner kick, they're going from left to right. So it's the near corner post. McCullough with the corner kick. Sends a nice shot across. Lands inside, but it's cleared out by Morgan Hall. There is a shot. Uh, coming off the line is Whalen, and it's cleared out by the defense. So a nice job by the Plattsburgh defense. And we have a corner kick for Shazy now in the far post, and there goes McCullough uh, taking the corner kick on the far post. Yeah, Whalen wasn't able to save it before it crossed over the end line. Um, ball deflected around a bit. A shot was taken by Caitlin Harvey, and then a de clearing attempt was bounced off um, of Brooke Stevens, and then a, and then a, went off the end line off of a Plattsburgh player. So here's McCullough lining up for the corner kick. McCullough sends a low kick across, and it goes a side net. So that's a kind of a wasted opportunity. Goal kick for the Hornets. Yeah, unsure if she was trying for an Olymp Olympico there or what the case was, but uh, the the was as you mentioned a, a wasted corner kick. Ball is on the far sideline, picked up by the Hornets. They're working away towards midfield. Nice hustle from Shazie's Huckle come from behind to knock the ball away. And she knocks it off a PHS player, so throwing for Shazie far si sideline. Ball comes into play. The ball sent on the uh, far sideline, and it will work its way out of bounds. Picking the ball up is Morgan Hall for the Hornets. And Coach McAuliffe has been very liberal with his bench in this game. Yeah, uh, Coach Mulligan definitely has used uh, as many substitutes as he can uh, to get out there. And Coach Signer has used what she's had available to her, giving her team breathers, but it couldn't compare to being able to put five or six out there at a time that Coach Mulligan has the luxury of. And here come the Hornets again, far sideline. It looks like Lexi Neal trying to send the ball across. She is being defended well by Chesney. And the ball comes in loose and it's cleared out. And it's going to be a corner kick as uh, Belro sent the ball off the end line. So a corner kick for the Hornets. And it's a little inexperienced there. She had the opportunity to clear that ball off the sideline to yield a throw in. And we, you know, perhaps she misstruck it, but she wound up clearing it off the end line to give a corner kick. And that's a coaching moment here uh, for the Shazy coaches. And again, McCullough, a freshman, let her let the freshman take the corner kick. Yeah, um, ball's in play here. So there's a shot out, outside of the foot, and coming on the line is Ganyo. And Ganyo gets to the ball, does a nice job getting there before Rebecca Corson. And Ganyo will work away to the 18. She, she's very aggressive. She's got to be careful, though, because she it could have been interpreted that she took the player down to obtain the ball. In doing so, she could give up a penalty kick. And here comes uh, Brooke Stevens into the game. And a good job defensively by Olivia Gacho. Knocks the ball away, keeps it from going off the end line, and smartly sends it off the sideline. So it's a deep throw in for Shazy, not a corner kick. And some good news as Audrey Langlois checks back in. Uh, first varsity appearance also for uh, Kristen Turk, or excuse me, not Kristen, that's her mom, for Cassidy Turk. And then also ca checking in is Camden Mayo. So a deep throw in for Shazy. It's 23 26 left in the second half. It's the Hornets for the Eagles zero in this championship game, the Jan Davis Memorial Labor Day Tournament championship game at the George Brenner Field. McCullough sends the ball into the box. It's a low kick, cleared out by Houston, now picked up by the streak in Corson. She sends the ball onto the streak in Fuller, and they're in the crazy territory. And they, oh, nice defensive play by Hadley Lucas. They were trying to get the ball up over to Bailey Houston and defended well. And the ball is sent forward by Hayes, picked up by Neal. Neal through the ball, breaking through his color. Color coming in, coming off the line is Gondo. That's the third time Gondo's had a collision coming off the line. And she's got to be careful she doesn't get hurt. Yeah, 100%. And, uh, and Steve Regan is talking again to tell her um, what happened was a another long touch. A little bit long of a touch, that gave Ganyo the opportunity to come for it. And she's kind of rotating her shoulder right now. Um, she took the brunt of that challenge, um, even though she got the ball. She's fearless out there. She is fearless, that is for sure. She's a very athletic young lady in net for the Eagles. And the ball goes out of bounds, far sideline, throw in for Shazy. Ball comes into play. They're trying to find Brooke Stevens. And it's not toward midfield, controlled by the Hornets, but stepping up, taking the ball away. 
is number three, Bellows. Bellows sends the ball up to McCulloch, far sideline, but it's knocked away by Morgan Hall. McCulloch recovers the ball, trying to work her way down the sideline, and she's going to be defended well by Morgan Hall. McCulloch gets that ball, sends the ball across, and it goes all the way into Emma Whalen's hands. It really wasn't a shot on net, but Whalen picks it up and punts the ball from the 18. Yeah, McCulloch was uh, trying to just place a service in there, hoping that one of her teammates was running in that particular direction, but they weren't. And the ball is picked up by Bailey Houston, and trying to de defend was number 21, uh, Mayo, and she goes down, so the Eagles will get a direct kick, and it looks like number 19 for Shay Z, uh, Lexi Clark. No, she'll give it up to uh, Hadley Lucas. Lucas uh, lining up for the direct kick to see uh, no danger here for a shot, of course, because she's her own side of the, of the midfield, but she has a good uh, service toward the 18 yard of Plattsburgh. And the ball one hops off of Gacho. Gacho comes to the near sideline, gets it to Corson. Corson pushing the ball up to 22, Toller, the eighth grader. Toller looking to cut through the inside as Toller with speed gets inside the box, rips a shot, and she bends a shot just over the net. Yeah, she, she was looking near post again. Uh, so she's, and that was a left-footed shot looking near post. It was bending and it cleared the crossbar as uh, Sam Daniel kind of raises her arms in victory there. Uh, I, thank goodness I didn't have to save another one, right? I, I don't know if it, I can give the baseball analogy, but it looks like a curveball and these girls are kicking the ball. Yeah, they're, they're striking it, uh, you know, obviously with an, with an inward motion and causing the ball to curve, and they're doing a great job with, with this. So you can tell that they've... Uh, They've been working on these shots, no question. A goal kick for Lucas. She sends the ball forward. It bounces in front of uh, Brooks she, uh, Stevens. She has it taken away by uh, Galicio. Galicio working her way down. The senior has it taken away from number uh, 15, Jenna Collins. And the ball goes out of bounds, throwing for the Eagles. Green throwing. And it will be Mayo taking the throw in for Shay Z. She goes down the line. She's trying to find Brooke Stevens, but McAuliffe comes over. She grabs it. McAuliffe working away to the 18, cuts it to the inside. Great job defensively by Morgan Hall to knock it away. And it's cleared off the sideline. And you can see a little bit of frustration on Ava McAuliffe. And again, here come the liberal uh, wholesale substitutions from uh, Coach. Uh, Mulligan. Yeah, um, Ava McAuliffe is being frustrated out there. She's she's facing at least two, sometimes three players whenever she touches the ball. Um, and even though she's using her speed, uh, the speed is no match sometimes for numbers. And we have 10 subs coming on, so that's the, the entire uh, team is coming off and a new team coming on. And we'll give you the names as we call them yes. <laughs> as they touch the ball. There are way too many names to give you as he just literally wholesale the uh, the whole team, other than goalie, uh, onto the field. So we have 18:34. Uh, Coach uh, Mulligan has emptied the bench, and the ball comes into play. And it was Maddie Fuller with the ball, working her way down the sideline. And number 19 for Shazy is Lexi Clark. And the ball is picked up by. I don't we don't see have a number, number 20. 20. Yeah. Well, it's number 20 for the Hornets, so we'll call her number 20. We have no name. We'll try to get one for you. Ball comes into play by Caitlin Harvey. And that's a handball on uh, number 19, Lexi Clark. So we have a kick coming up before the Hornets. It's number 14, Alyssa Hemingway, who is one of the 10 to check in. <laughs> a sweeper. Uh, <laughs> so they need, you know, a lot of times when they, when they do uh, these big changes, they'll want to have a, a seasoned defender out there, and that's who Alyssa Hemingway is. There's a shot that rips off the head of, uh, and Lee, we don't have a number 25, so. So what I'm thinking is perhaps, the, I have three young ladies without numbers on the original roster, and that's uh, Jade Hayford, Madison Hunt, and Madeline Whalen. So it certainly could be any one of those three young ladies, and I apologize, and um, didn't receive numbers for those folks. So Mayo with the throw in for Shazie, it's at midfield, it's picked up by Tron Blue, Tron Blue sends a three ball. And she gets it on to the feet of Ledoux. Ledoux working her way down. She's being defended by Langlois. Ledoux cuts it to the inside. Ledoux sends it across, and Donya's there. 
She goes down on it, so she'll work her way to the 18. We're at 16.55, Lee. And Gagnon trots to the top of the 18 to distribute the ball toward midfield. And Sam uh, Gagnon possesses a really nice punt as she clears midfield with that punt. It goes off the head of Tron Blue. Stepping up defensively is Hemingway. She sends the ball into the offensive zone. Back there defensively is Lucas. She chips it forward as she's trying to uh, find Jenna Collins. Collins has the ball. She turns. Collins takes it into the offensive zone. She goes to the near sideline. Gets it on to the feet of Stevens. Back to Mayo. And Mayo is taken down. So we have a, a kick coming up for the Eagles. Uh, it'd be a direct kick here as Camden Mayo appears to be shaken up a little bit from that collision and uh, substitutes coming on, likely to take her spot. Hadley Lucas is coming over to take this direct kick, the senior uh, captain of the Eagles. And lining up for a right-footed service, uh, everybody lined up toward the middle of the top of the 18. And she sends the ball into the 18. It goes off of the head of Hemingway back out. And it's Lucas now in the offensive zone where she's used to playing last year. And uh, the ball goes out of bounds off of uh, the Hornets. Lucas gets the throw in and it goes off the uh, leg of Bordeaux. So another throw in for Shazie. Deep throw in near sideline. They're going from left to right. And it's Hadley Lucas up on the defensive end. And coming into the game is Abby Huckrow. And she's going to take out Camden Mayo, give uh, Camden Mayo a breather, um, have check out the potential injury that she may have suffered in the collision earlier. And the ball comes in to Lucas. She's trying to uh, find uh, Stevens, but it's cleared out by the Hornets. And nice job by Belros. Sends the ball forward, but a little too far. It will work its way off the end line. So we have a goal kick for the Hornets coming up as we get just under 15 minutes left in the second half. Not a lot of goal kicks for the Hornets this game. Um, and it looks like it's going to be Hemingway to take it. Wasn't sure if Whalen. Whalen, in the first game when they played against Bullcred Valley, she played on top of the 18 almost the entire game. She was very aggressive. Tonight, not so much. She's been staying more, stay at home tonight. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. So 14.23 to go. The ball is sent into the defensive zone of the Hornets. Nice uh, one time by Lexi Neal. This is ball to the near sideline at number 25. This is ball back to number 20. And again, we're just saying numbers yeah. and we don't know who they are on the roster. Ball comes into play. And then the number rosters. Seven. So the ball is picked up by number 15, who's Sophie number Berto. 20 on your team? Number 20, that's Maddie Hunt. Okay, and who's number 25? 25 is Maddie Whalen. Thank you. Thank you. So we got some names here for you. Madison Hunt is number 20, and Madison Whalen, number 25, right now, top of the 18, and it's a ball. And that looked like it was Haley Radu again on the weak side. Yeah, I think it was number five, which would be Haley Radu. We will find out shortly, and I think the assist perhaps is going to go to Madeline Whalen on that. Well, the uh, Plattsburghs, uh, they're known as the Hornets, and they have been buzzing this field here tonight, Lee. Yeah, um, they've really uh, taken it to the Eagles, but, you know, you talk about a tale of, of, of kind of two cities and kind of a poor analogy, but you have a Class B school with big numbers and lots of talent, and then a Class D school who's in a rebuilding year. And, and a lot of players not here tonight that would be normally be starters. And what's nice is one of the uh, substitutions, number 25, got the assist. Yes, the number 25 is, uh, is Madeline Whalen, presumably the sister of the goalkeeper, Emma Whalen. And McAuliffe sends the ball over, trying to get to the feet of uh, Brooke Stevens. And it's cleared out defensively by Alyssa Hemingway. So a throw in for the Eagles. But one thing I like what I'm seeing out there, Lee, is the Eagles are not quick hustling. Yeah, and they're not playing with their heads down either. Uh, you know, they, I think they understood what they were coming into this game against. Um, they're, taking, they're taking the best um, 
lessons they can take out of this. And uh, they are hustling as hard as they can. The bench is small, but uh, their condition is decent, so they're doing they're doing a good job. And I think it's safe to say Lee, they're not going to save this type of talent in their division. No, I, I really don't expect a, a Northern Soccer League Division Two to have anywhere near the talent of a Plattsburgh uh, High School. That's for sure. And the ball is uh, just goes out of bounds below us here in the press box. Throw in for the Eagles, and it's going to be Caitlin Harvey. Ball comes in, she's trying to find the color. Nice job by Steph Trombley stepping up. She now gets the ball up over to Bella Gerard. Gerard with speed, looking to get by Lucas. And it's Bella, she rakes free, she can get a shot off. She rips it, and right there was Gagno. And Gagno came right out and said, let's let it go. Yep, Gagno challenged her the way that you would expect to keep her. She looked big in the goal. And uh, it was just her and, and Gerard, and Gerard shot the ball right to Sam Gagno, so she did a good job there def uh, as a goalkeeper. So but here come the Hornets, and they're buzzing around, and they get another shot off, it goes off the end line. So it'll be a goal kick for Shay Z. But uh, a, a very nice, impressive performance by the Hornets so far tonight. Yeah, I think they're gonna make a lot of noise this year um, in Class B, and I, I would expect they'll be in the mix for the sectional championship, and, and let's hope uh, that we're going to have, you know, sectional championships and state play. I did see um, this, the, I think it's November 13th and 14th are the dates for the, at least for the boys and the girls final fours. Um, so let's hope that that still holds true. And the ball is, it's a short uh, goal kick. Uh, ball sent forward by Miller. Back to Daniel, the goalie. So Daniel for Shay Z will work our way to the 18. The punt is shy of midfield. And stepping up for the Hornets is number 26, and that would be Maddie Fuller. And the ball will work its way off the uh, end line. So another goal kick for Shay Z. And actually, it's going to be a corner kick. Corner, yeah. So it's going to be on the far corner. We're at 10.50 left in the second half. And it's going to be Sophie Berto to take this um, corner kick. And she's going to find a ball right now. She's going to trot over toward the corner flag, and his, um, players, corner players are dispersed pretty evenly throughout the 18-yard box as uh, Berto gets ready to take this corner. And she sends a bullet across, and there's Ganya. And one thing I picked up in this game, Lee, is that the Hornets have been about a step quicker getting to the ball than what the Eagles have been doing. Yeah, they're definitely uh, first to the ball, and they're winning a lot of free balls. Um, out there, and that's a that's a big reason why they've dominated the cent center center of the field. And the ball is kept in play by number ten Huckro, and then it just goes out of play. So a throw in for the Hornets. We're on the near sideline. Ball comes into play by Alexi Neal, and she's trying to find number 20. I don't know if you, did you get number 20's name, uh, Lee? Yes, 20 is uh, Brooks Stevens for Shazy. I meant for uh, oh, yes. the Hornets. 20 for the Hornets is Madison Hunt. Madison Hunt, okay. So far side, and it is uh, Haley Ledoux battling for the ball far sideline against uh, Lane Lloyds. And Ledoux wins that battle. She sends it across, and it just gets by Hunt. And back there, Defensively for Shay Z is a number 10, Abby Huckle. Huckle working her way down. Has it knocked away by Lexi Neal. Neal, top of the key. And there's a bunch up, and it's, uh, the Hornets uh, trying to send it forward. They do, and that will work its way off the end line. So a goal kick for Shay Z, and we hit under the nine minute mark, Lee. Uh, Sequoia McChesney checking back in, and she's going to take, take Audrey Langlois back off. Um, we have a lot of youngsters out there. The JV players are, are seeing a lot of action um, for the for the Eagles, so that's certainly invaluable for them uh, to get out there and uh, and see some really uh, special talent in the uh, in the Northern Soccer League. So Lucas sends the ball forward. It's kind of in the open space. It's picked up by Miller. Miller sends a through ball, and it is Ledu far side takes a shot off of Chesley. Put it out by Lucas, and that goes off of Fuller. And but it's picked up by the Eagles. It's number 10, Huckro. Huckro sends the ball forward, trying to find McCullough. Defended the ball by Trombley. Trombley still with the ball, works away to midfield, far sideline, sends the ball forward, and it goes on to the feet of Gerard. 
Girard sends the ball toward the 18 of Chasey. Picked up by Girard. Coming off the line is Gagne. And uh, Gagne being aggressive tonight has stopped a lot of their opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she's beaten them to long dribbles um, and that has limited the number of shots and opportunities that Plattsburgh has had. Had she not been so aggressive and confident in her abilities, uh, certainly the score would be much different. So the ball is at midfield. It's controlled by the Hornets. And it goes off the sideline. And uh, I don't know. It's a green throw. And I'm not just, okay. So we did have one green goal. Yeah. In, so yep. Amelia Smith. And, and then and everybody coming off for, for Plattsburgh. So 10 on, 10 off. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. And uh, we'll just call their name if they touch the ball. Yeah. Uh, also coming in, Shiloh Carroll for Shay Z. And uh, she, I'm not sure who's coming off yet for her. Uh, we do remind you that the five-minute rule is still in effect. So in the last five minutes of, uh, of the game, including overtime, um, if a substitution is made by the leading team on the scoreboard, then the clock will stop. And late tomorrow night is the championship game for the boys. It's the Frankie Guerra Memorial, Plattsburgh High, and Shay And unfortunately, you can't be here tomorrow night, but Joe the Fish Poisson will be coming out of retirement and will be doing the game with me. It'll be great. I'll be listening at work. I can't wait to hear uh, to hear the, uh, the original two back together on the radio. <laughs> so the ball is on the far sideline. It is out of bounds, throw in for Shay Z. Ball is thrown back toward Huckwell. And it goes to the open space, picked up by number 14, Hemingway. Gives the ball up over to Galicio. Galicio has it knocked away, but sent forward by Boulay into the Shazy defensive zone. And Hadley Lucas chips it to the outside, trying to find McChesney, but goes off the sideline. Throw in for the Hornets with 5.54 left in the second half. I would say the game, but the founding father. Calvin passed on and said, never do that, because you never know what can happen. They could end up in overtime. But I think but I think we're safe to say there is 539 left in the game with uh, sh the Hornets leading five to nothing. I think it's a, uh, if I was a betting man, I'd put money on that one. <laughs> Ball is at midfield, sent forward by Emma Hayes, the senior for Plattsburgh. And the Eagles now control the ball. It's uh, Collins goes to the far side to McCullough. McCullough tries to turn and she's knocked away, the ball's knocked away by uh, Steria. And uh, you know, McCullough has been dogged all game. Yeah, she's had, as I mentioned, at least two players on her the entire game. And uh, whenever she touches the ball, she, she really doesn't have much opportunity to move with the ball. Um, she does have good foot skills, but it's just the pressure's there. Uh, at least two, two women on her all the time. So the ball is deep in Shazy territory and it's cleared out by Lucas and it just goes past the feet of McChesney and picked up by Boulay. So Boulay and, and uh, now McAuliffe comes over but can't get to the ball in time so it's a throw in on the far sideline just shy of midfield. 4.35 left in the game, 5 nothing in the points over the Eagles in this championship game. The, uh, the Jan Davis Memorial at the George Bremler Field and the ball is sent forward toward midfield and it'll go off the sideline and of course it's the Jan Davis Memorial the first annual and Jan Davis was just quite a, a fan of Shazy sports. Yeah Jan longtime fan of all sports you would see her in, in the gym at a basketball game or on the sidelines watching a, a softball or baseball game and certainly in the bleachers at George Brenner Field and tragically uh, she passed away following complications from a surgery um, this past uh, this past winter so um, Perfectly uh, named tournament for her, uh, certainly the recognition she deserves. And the ball is in play, it's cleared out on the far sideline, so it'll be a throw in for Shazy. McChesney for Shazy will take the throw in, we're at 341 left in the game. And they're kind of bunched up, they're trying to break from the pack, and they do, and it is uh, Avalard. She sends the ball forward onto the feet of Kane. Kane can't control it, but goes back to Avalar. She's a big kick in the Shazy territory. Stepping up is Lucas. Lucas sends it forward, and it just goes off of the sideline, I think, or is there a foul? Looks like a throw-in um, is being called, yeah. So just about three minutes to go here in the championship match, and it looks like the Hornets will wrap up um, another championship here in the preseason tournament uh, in Shazy. 
And before the game, you said the Eagles were one and six against the Hornets, and that will be going to one and seven. Yeah, uh, you know, he's just overmatched tonight, and that's okay. Um, they're definitely not on the same level, but uh, again, I hate to keep repeating myself, but a good experience for uh, for this young Shazy squad. And the ball goes on bounce, throw in for Shazy, it's Jenna Collins. Ball comes in, it goes off of Bonabessi. Bonabessi trying to get the ball up over to Mulligan, but it's picked up by Lexi Clark. Clark sends the ball forward. It goes off of Abelard, and I can see Mulligan has put some of his uh, bigger guns back on the defensive end. Yeah, he's got um, Amaya Abelard playing sweeper right now, so that shows you the confidence he has in her ability as an eighth grader. You know, she can score a couple goals, and then to, to finish the game, she can sweep for him. So pretty uh, pretty impressive for the youngster. Well, I'll go back to the shots that she took as an eighth grader, just mm -hmm. bending those shots. It was impressive. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. A very talented young lady. And the ball is controlled by number 12, Galicio. Galicio has it taken away from Jenna Collins. But it is Galatia with the throw that goes off the sideline. And that ball is taken off of Shazay's number 11, Harley. So the Hornets move the ball down the sideline, near sideline. Ball comes back into play by Bonabessi. Ball is pushed back to Emma Hayes. She chips the ball up to the top of the 18. The ball is headed forward by Corson. Coming off the line is Donahoe. She stops going off the end line. So she'll work her way to the 18 for the punt. And we have a minute 23 left here in the game. And the punt by Donahoe. Nice punt at midfield. It bounces. And McCall is trying to get to the ball. And it is uh, Abelard. Loses the ball to number 19, Lexi Clark, over to Collins. Collins trying to get the ball over to Brooke Stevens. And I, I'm sorry, that was uh, Shiloh Carroll. And now it goes to Abelard. Abelard pushes it back to Whale in the goalie. She has to kick it. She does. Kicks it outside the 18. And we have a foul. And it's a direct kick. And McCullough will probably get a quick kick. And they stand right up there. And that should that be a card? Well, they, they have to. The referee has to ask for them to move back 10 yards. If they don't move back right away, McCullough rips it high and above the net. So, yeah, it was a, it was like a six-person wall there, um, and it wasn't quite 10 yards when McCullough took the shot. But we were down to 40 seconds, so she was kind of pressed for time. So it's a goal kick for the Hornets. They're going to take their time. There's 15 seconds left in the game. And it is the eighth grader, uh, Amaya Abelard. Sends a nice kick forward. Ball lands at midfield on the feet of Bonnie And the whistle blows, and the Hornets win the championship game of the Jan Davis Memorial Labor Day tournament here on the 3rd of September. You are listening to the. Okay, well, thanks to Joey Trombley and. Lee Barcombe for taking us through the game. You're watching viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. Congratulations to Coach Mulligan and the Hornets. Thanks for watching.